Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about the addition and subtraction of radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So guys, uh, this is our second video with regard to addition and subtraction of radicals. Meron na kami to last year, pero syempre, i-rebump natin yung video natin. So ang focus nito is to add or subtract radicals with different radicands. And for example, number one, we are given 4 times the square root of 8 minus 6 times the square root of 2. As you can see, meron tayong sa first radical natin, the radical is 8. While on the second radical, we have the radical of 2. We're in, ito yung magiging problem. Kasi ang rule natin, uh, we can add radicals with the same radical. Eh sir, paano nga yung gagawin natin dito? How are we going to subtract this radical? Eh magkaiba nga yung kanilang radical. Siyempre, meron tayong way dyan. First, kailangan maging pareso na syempre, di ba? So, ang kailangan natin gawin dito is we will extract the square root of 8. So, remember, yung 8 natin is not a perfect square. Syempre, we can factor out 8 at magiging 4 times the square root of 4 times 2. So, bakit po 4 times itong pinili nyo? Mayroong iba't ibang factors ang 8. We can use 8 times 1. Bakit po 4 times 2? Pinili ko yung 4 times 2 kasi meron siyang isang perfect square na factor. Wherein, imagine, if you will try to extract the square root of 4, mawawala siya dito at magiging whole number na lang. So, as you can see, matitira ay yung square root of 2. So, ito yung tamang factors na gagamitin natin. Again, I factored out 8. It became the square root of 4 times 2. So, minus, for the second one, we have minus 6 times the square root of 2. Ngayon, kung mapansin nyo, meron na talaga tayong clue kung ano yung factor na gagamitin natin kasi kailangan yung isa sa mga factors na meron tayo sa kabila ay ganito yung radicand natin. So, let's continue. We'll extract this. Ito yung magiging 4 times the square root of 4, which is 2. Labas natin dito. And then, times the square root of 2. Again, Yung 4 natin, extracted as 2. At ang natin na lang square root of 2. Minus 6 square root of 2. Simplifying this, 4 times 2 is 8. We have 8 times the square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2. And since parehas na yung kanilang radicands, which is 2 and 2, ang green natin, we will subtract 8 and 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2. So the final answer now is... 2 square root of 2. This is the simplified form or the difference between 4 square root of 8 and 6 square root of 2. So I hope na nakuha niyo yung uh, ginawa natin method for number 1 on how to subtract radical expressions with different radicands. Now let's continue. For number 2, we are given 5 times the cube root of 81 minus 6 times the cube root of 3. So dito, yung 81 natin is not a perfect cube. Diba? Tapos, sa so problem dito, 81 and 3 are different radicands. So hindi agad natin sila automatically pwedeng isubtract. Okay? So what you, we need to do is to extract the, square, the cube root of 81 wherein kailangan ng factors ng 81 isa doon ay perfect cube. And another thing na pwede nyo consider is that this radical is 3, ibig sabihin, one of the factors na need natin sa 81 is 3. So, ang perfect dito is we will factor out 81. So, we have 5 times the cube root of 81, magiging 27 times 3. Ito na guys. 27 is perfect cube. Minus 6 times the cube root of 3. Extracting the cube root of 27, it will give us the answer of 3. So we have now 5 times 3 times the cube root of 3 minus 6 times the cube root of 3. As you can see, same radical sa tayo ngayon. All we need to do is to simplify this. This is 15 times the, square, the cube root of 3 minus 6 times the cube root of 3. And 15 minus 6 is 9. So our final answer now is 9 times the cube root of 3. This is our answer for item number 2. And let's continue with the last item. For the last item, 
It seems na mahirap siya. Siyempre. We have the variable x, pero hindi siya mahirap x. Don't worry. We have the fourth root of x plus 1 plus 3 times the fourth root of 16 times x minus 1. So, ang paano po yung meron tayong variable? How are we going to add these radial expressions? Don't worry guys, madali lang yan. So, dito, huwag yun ang galawin to, and focus tayo sa second term natin. Yung 16 na natin is a perfect fourth root. Guys ha, we can extract the fourth root of 16. Okay? So, fourth root ng 16 ay 2. So, gawin natin ngayon, we will copy this expression. Copy lang natin. We have the fourth root, uy, we have the fourth root of x plus 1 plus 3 times the fourth root of 16 is 2. Okay? And then, ang matitayang sa loob ay fourth root of x plus 1. As you can see guys, parehas na yung radicals nila. Pero before tayo mag-add, simplify natin to. We have the fourth root of x plus 1. And then this one is... Uh, this is plus 6 times the fourth root of x plus 1. So we can add this radical expression kasi parehas yung galila radical. Pero don't, don't forget guys, meron tayo itong invisible one. So adding these two radicals or the, these two radical expressions, it will give us the answer of 7 times the fourth root of x plus 1. Ito yung simplified form natin guys. So diba? Kung mapansin nyo, mukha lang mahirap yung problem number 4 pero uh, if you want to, uh, if you will properly apply those uh, process na ginawa natin from item number 1 and item number 2, madali nyo na masimplify yung gandong klase ng radical. So, ayun na lang guys. I hope na you learned something from this video on how to add and subtract radical expressions with different radicals. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!